Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to your first Blender tutorial. I just want to firstly talk about what is Blender. Well, basically, it's a 3D modeling program. So if you're planning to ever draw anything in 3D, either for a computer game or simply just to design some kind of product or to model a house that you're going to live in, um, any sort of 3D drawing can be done in Blender so it is pretty much inevitable that you are going to use Blender sometime in your life so you might as well start learning it right now and the good thing about it is that it is totally free so download it right now from blender.org I'll provide a link in the description of this video um, click on that, download it, and then come back when you have downloaded it. Okay, now, so you might be asking, well, there are already 2 million Blender tutorials. Why should I come watch your tutorial? A uh, very simple reason, because most of the tutorials you've seen probably try to teach you guys all the interface of Blender, so you're going to be looking through all of these preferences in the windows surrounding the screen for about I don't know three hours before you get to actually using Blender so that's not the approach that I'm going to take I'm gonna get you guys to start using it straight away because I think it's a faster and more efficient way to learn it if you remember trying to learn Microsoft Word or Excel or some other computer program did you learn it by going through all of the menus and figuring out what every little function does or did you just start using the program straight away and learn it um, by trial and error I think you all did the second way so that's what we're going to do now so the first thing we're gonna do is get you guys to get rid of all of these menus so you're going to do that by pressing the control up key when you are in your program so press control up and that way you can see that I just got rid of the menus on the right and on the bottom so I just have this and then to get rid of this menu on the left I'm gonna press the T key okay so I now just have in full screen a cube um, and some sort of coordinates uh, grid uh, horizontally so it's sitting on the grid and what I want you to do now is press the middle mouse button hold it down and start dragging it around the screen okay and you can see that you're pretty much moving around this grid uh, rotating around this grid uh, about the center of the grid so you're going down, you're going up, you're going left, or you're going right. Now what if you want to look further uh, from the cube? You can use the middle mouse button to scroll backwards so you're further away from the cube or you can scroll up to go closer to the cube. So right now I'm just pressing the middle mouse button. I haven't pressed any other buttons. So speaking of which, if you want to see exactly what I'm pressing, what I'm going to do is turn on what's called a screencast. So you do that by going into this window here and this button here and go to user preferences and then you go to add-ons, screencast keys and make sure that this is turned on okay so there should have been no clicks before uh, no ticks here before so tick it and then go back to your 3d view okay so what's going to happen is you're going to press the N key and then you're gonna go down to screencast keys and click start display okay and then you're gonna scroll down here again and click on um, where is it mouse 
I uh, sorry mouse text so now it's going to show everything that I'm doing on the bottom left hand corner so it tells you that I'm pressing my middle now middle mouse button to go around the screen so if you have missed what I just said don't worry about it it's not necessary for you to have the screencast anyway so press the end key to get rid of the menu on the right so you should be okay now um, dragging the middle mouse button and looking at the cube from different angles and now I will just briefly explain um, the coordinate system so ignore these two things that you can see here the light and the camera just ignore these objects we'll use them later on and you can ignore this uh, 3D cursor here as well we're just looking at the cube right now okay so you can see the horizontal grid you can see the green line and the red line okay and you can see that there is some arrows pointing along these lines and a blue line going up so I want to uh, talk about what these three lines do first so in case you can't see the blue arrow going up and the green arrow and the red arrow just go down here to the um, where it says use a 3D manipulator widget for controlling transforms so that you can see these three arrows if you click that they're gone but if you click that again they come back so we need these right now so now let's click on one of these arrows so click on the arrow and then you can see that you can drag the cube up and down so this is called the Z axis this is moving the cube up and down All right so I'm dragging it up to here and dragging it down to there and if you move the mouse uh, if you press the middle mouse button and you're scrolling up and down you can see that you've uh, translated the cube downwards okay now guess what happens if you press either you hold down on the red arrow key red arrow or the green arrow well firstly I'm gonna press the end button on your keyboard the end key on your keyboard to bring up this menu on the right and if you scroll up you can see the exact location of the cube so you can see that right now only the Z axis is changing right the X and the Y axis coordinates are staying on zero so I'm dragging the cube up and down so only the Z coordinate is changing right uh, by the way these are based on the center of the object so if I click on the Z coordinate and I press zero and press enter it is now about exactly uh, horizontal based on where the center of the cube is okay so now um, I'm gonna drag the green arrow okay I'm gonna drag the box along the green arrow so hold down the left mouse and drag it along the green arrow and you can see that the Y corner is changing so green represents the y-axis so I'm dragging the box along the y-axis right now okay and then as you can see if I drag the box along the red arrow I'm changing its x-axis okay so x-axis is now 4 uh, y-axis is right now on 10 right so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so each box on your grid represents a unit of one so if you for example put it on 1 1 right the box is sitting the center is sitting in the corner of the first box right one unit to the right and one unit upwards okay so uh, 
So one, one, and now let's set the Z coordinate to one as well. And you can see that it's now floating. Oh, sorry, it's not floating. It's just uh, sitting on top of the grid. All right, but if you make it two units upwards, okay, it is now floating above the grid, one unit above the grid. Okay, so hopefully you guys uh, are able to play around with this a little bit. So just a quick recap, all you have to be able to do is be able to zoom in, zoom out, uh, move up and down by holding the middle mouse button to rotate around the center of the grid. Okay, and then you should be able to drag these arrows to move the box along the X and the Y axis and the Z axis, move it up and down this, this uh, grid. Okay, so that's all you got to do for the first lesson. Hope you guys are having fun with this and not finding it too hard. See you guys next time.